save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all of the day long. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to this Mass today. The Mass has been offered for Ivan Rob for his eternal rest, and Connie Romero for, for help, and eternal rest of Jose Luis Padilla. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries that as the Lord to forgive us our sins, <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have created sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do, and in my faults and in my faults, in my most greatest fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me the Lord God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery working night and day in order not to burden any of you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses and so is God. How devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behave towards you, believer. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father to his, his children, exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you receive it not as the word of man, but as it truly is the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe. Word of the Lord. Bless my soul, son. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the nether world, you are present there. You have searched me. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. You will have to search me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall hide us, 
and night shall be my light. For you, darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as the day. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like white washed tombs, which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill out what your ancestors measure out. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Our Lord Jesus is gentle and humble, of course. He has told us, Learn from me, for I am meek and gentle of heart. Our Lord Jesus is merciful, and he has shown mercy, and he was always in search for those who were uh, neglected or rejected. And so we see in him an example of virtue, an example of virtue, which means uh, the expression of love, how love is expressed, patient, merciful, um, gentle, um, loving, and all the virtues, you know, that we know. He was just, um, he was prudent, and so that's how love is expressed. So love is, of course, another virtue, it's a theological virtue, it comes from God. Love is from God, and so uh, how do we express that? And this is then what we need to constantly try to do in our daily lives. On the other hand, our Lord Jesus also, he is a teacher and he wants us to learn and he will say what is wrong. If a teacher doesn't say what is wrong to a student, that student will not be able to overcome that obstacle. And so we'll challenge in a way. So today he's challenging the scribes and Pharisees and he calls them hypocrites. He calls them, um, you know, straight forward what they are expressing for themselves. They seem to be good, but underneath, you know, and that's what we call like that mask or that uh, hypocrisy, you know, to be under uh, an appearance. And so he's saying, take that away, because that is not helping you to overcome that obstacle. You think you are good, but in, in deep down, you are full of all that. I keep those examples. 
of equal doing. And so that's a challenge, and no one, some, you know, wants to kind of be challenged in that way. You know, hypocrites. He calls them like that. It's a very strong word, but he wants to wake them up. He wants to <clears throat> make them change for their own good. And so our Lord, you know, he uh, uh, may, you know, also show that to us one way or another. Am I truthful? Am I really? Uh, transparent, or do I have these flaws, these these hidden agendas that I, I you know I just know myself and God, of course. So we cannot fool God. So this is a, this is a, a way to <clears throat> to awaken them and, and to us in any way that we might also participate in this which he is uh, saying more to you I mean he is manifesting condemning and uh, wanting them to change so let us listen to him and let us see what those things might be in our own lives that we need to change please stand With humble hearts, we bring our prayers and petitions to the Father, that the church throughout the world may be blessed with a spirit of humility before the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. That world leaders may be granted wisdom and courage by the Holy Spirit as they formulate laws and policies. Let us pray to the Lord. That anyone suffering because of poor health or chronic pain may feel the healing touch of God. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for the intention of this Mass for Ivan Ruff, for Anna Gertrudis Madrid. For their eternal rest at Rosales Padilla, we pray to the Lord. And for the health of Connie Romero, we pray to the Lord. O Lord and merciful God, you search us and know our hearts. Grant us what you know we need. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for of your goodness we have received. The bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, God, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for of your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice. For grace, Lord, for the sake of the Lord. O Lord, who came for yourself a people by adoption to the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, 
through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of the dead and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are claimed. Holy, 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 Lord our God, you are indeed holy, O Lord, to the of holiness. May holy therefore be sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim the death of the Lord and of Christ's resurrection until we come to you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Only we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jaime Soto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Ivan Brock, Jose Luis Padilla, and Judith Madre, and you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Lord taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on our earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 Lord,
Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Spirit. You may offer a sign of peace. 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 Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, says the Lord, and I will raise him up on the last day. Out of the spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O oh Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. After the Mass, the Rosary is being prayed outside in front of the, what was the convent before, next to the school over there, because the gym is, is in a have a blessed day. May the, Lord, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks be to God. I am the bread of life. You come to me, shall not hunger. And who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father welcomes. And I will raise you up.